from the planning, I I just take taken you to the purchase. Now I'm just going to take you to the production order. So they're assuming there are some released production orders for this particular product. And uh, so let's take this particular internal hydraulic arbor. So for this released confirmed production order, so you have the production order created and see how system keeps a track of the routing. So I just clicked, just want to go one more time, lines, then you have components and routing. And the components gives you what are the raw materials required for producing this particular assembly. So you need arbor, Workstop, shell, collet, liner, mastering, cap, and you can add all those informations about the material. This will capture about the material cost. And you have routing, the stages of a production, you have the labors, resources working for each stage of the product or each stage of the machine, SL400 machine. Assuming for manufacturing this particular product, I spend $10 per product, you can have this cost of this particular stage captured. So it gets rolled up. How much is my resource cost for producing this particular assembly? It's automatically calculated at the end of production. You will know what's my finished goods product, how much is rolled up cost end of the day. Also on each stages, I remember you said few processes are sent out for subcontract process. It also is that there is a minus setting. We can work around. We are we can do it, configure it. I would say it's a configuration. So system knows at the stage of three, third stage, the product has to go out and complete the heat treatment process. Then it has to come back. So it is also possible. I will also show how system automatically picks up those subcontract items. It will be very interesting to know. So these are all the stages cost and you can have also, I just want to show the, journals. So you can also have the consumption. So normally when the, when the release production order is done, then put at the workshop or a shop floor, uh, it's a right word. They will need the raw materials to be used. So for assembly, for, Maybe the sleeve need to be manufactured or need to the, do the machining. It has to be taken, the raw material has to be consumed. So it has to be issued. So there is a report. You have the material requisition report as well as a job card. So they take this material requisition report, go to the stores, get the material issued for us manufacturing this particular product. So you have the production order number for which production order you are going to get the material issued. So from the store's location, the material will be issued to the shop floor location. This is the sample of the report. If you want, you can modify it to your needs. So what's my due date for this particular product? And these are all the products will be issued. And the another part is where you can also have the job card. So each machine will have the instruction sheet attached to the particular machine. So the staff or people who are working on the machine will read those instructions. Those instructions also can be configured. This is one of the sample thing. If you see, this is one of six. So the first one shows about in my first operation, SL400, this is my worksheet. And if you want to add some comments, definitely you can add those comments configured and get printed. Normally the production engineer takes the printout and is instruction sheet is fixed on the instruction board for each machine. So the second will have the second sheet. So this is the second operation, third operation and goes on. So you can have this instruction sheet or job card can be attached to each machines. So once the production is done and the material is consumed, you have the option of consuming this particular product. I just showed you the production journal. If 
the consumption person or the stores person different you have the consumption journal separately or end of the day when the production sheet is completed and the operator uh, resources allocated to the each machine gives an output updated in their sheet then end of the, day, the production engineer updates their what's my up output for the particular item so you have the output quantity and you have the scrap quantity if there is a rejected or something you can also capture all those informations here so here the stores person will be updated here the consumption quantity if it is can be done in one shot by production engineer he can do it or if you want to do it separately you have the option of consumption journal separately for a particular order you have the consumption of those items issuing the material so you can have calculate consumption for which order so you can select for which order i think i have already consumed it so i think it is not picking up if it is not consumed then system will suggest you the consumption like that you can have the output for a particular uh, end of the day if you want to fix an output you can go to the output journal and there you will be able to update your of each day of each stages uh, um, so end of production when the assembly is uh, produced so you have the option of seeing what's my order statistics so what's my expected cost assuming the material cost is this much and my capacity these are all the um, your routing cost at each stage resource cost comes over here and if there is some subcontract in mod what's my subcontract process and if there are some capacity overhead assuming I, if i add some more resources there those things also captured manufacturing overheads and then when the actual output is produced then you your actual uh, uh, cost will get updated so how the actual cost you will be able to view is once the production order is completed so you have the production finished production order okay so assuming if you are uh, want to see um, i just prepared a production order for this particular collet manufacturing so you can have the view of statistics so this is the total cost of this particular product i expected was 120 actual cost exactly i just produced with m20 there is no material wastage there is no over all those things so there is no variance there is no deviation percentage there if there are some deviation from the planned one against the actual one system will update you all this 120 dollars will get rolled up and product cost gets updated if there are variations like additional overheads are added it takes an average and updates as a so you know how much you are producing cost what's my inventory value of that particular finished good you will be able to get an updated value here 